So this is an engineer mechanic statistic problem. The objective is to find all force acting on the beam. So the first stuff we need to know, we have um, a beam here, a pin right, right here I should say, and pin have two force. This is an example. So a force acting in the x, um, a force acting in the y direction and a force acting in the x direction. For a fixed force, now we have three force, a force acting in the x and y direction and also a moment force, which you don't have in a pin. So our problem consists of a pin. And, um, so next concept we need to know for a problem like this is um, force acting in the x direction you use cosine if it's acting on an, on an angle force in an um, y direction you use sine if it's acting at an angle okay so we're going to go ahead and solve this problem so let's see what can we do let's see what can we do we can find let's find force acting in the x direction so first we need to draw our, um we need to draw a free body free body diagram so we're gonna go ahead and um, draw a free body diagram right here make sure you have a pin a beam then we have a pin right here so we have two force acting here one in the so this is f b y direction and then this is f b um x direction uh, so we have a force at the a location so this is a and this is b so we have a force acting upward in the y direction we also have a force acting um two meter away from the a direction at, at, away from the a location we should draw a line right here so the force is acting at an angle forty five degree angle and the force is six hundred newton um the x direction zero point two meter uh, so we have a force acting at um d which is three meter away from well five meter in total away from the a direction so this is force this is force d right well a location and it's 100 newton then we have another um, external force acting at b which is 200 Newton so let's see <coughs> so this is a free but free diet free by free body diagram but uh, so we have a force acting at an angle so we we know that we're gonna use sine and cosine at this free diet at, at this location so we're gonna do take the summation of um force in the x direction summation of force in the x direction is equal to zero i'm um, gonna make it going to the right um plus which is equal to zero so from our free by the free by the free by the diagram we have a force six 
Norton, um, cosine, far to phi because this is the x direction. Then this is um going to move into the right. Then we have another force, which is this force, which is moving to the left. So it's going to be negative. So you're going to minus sign, which is equal to FB. The total is equal to zero. So basically, you're going to find FB, which is equal to 424 Newton. So we find uh, we find we find one unknown zone so far, which is um F B. So our next objective, we can um <coughs> summation of um moments. The, the next thing we know of uh, moment um. Moment is also equal. The moment equation is also equal to zero. So we're gonna um we have this force moving two two meter away from the B location. So we're gonna find moment at the B location. So we have um one hundred newton times the distance. Then we're gonna have another force, which is the this force, 600 Newton, which is going to be in both directions, the X and the Y direction. So you're going to use sine and cosine both. So we're going to write that out real quick. Um, sine 45 Newton times the distance, which is, this is the, um, this is the Y direction, which is going to be 3 plus 2 which is 5 so times 5 then minus 600 sine no cosine cosine 45 45 cosine 45 times distance which is 0 0.25 this distance 0 0.25 minus F Y which is this force so 2 3 and 2 again that's 7 that's the that's that's that that's the distance times 7 equal to zero so grab a calculator and plug in the answer which is gonna be equal to 319 I always remember the unit Newton we stand for force so we have one more um <coughs> stuff to find and we're gonna use force in the y direction which is equal to zero so go upwards is plus. so we just actually find fy which is this force then we also have one more force moving up or up upwards which is f b y moving upwards so we know these forces are positive all other forces are negative so let's write the equation which is equal to um, <coughs> 319 which is a force you just find minus moving downward pushing downward sine 45 moving at an um reacting at an angle newton minus 200 newton plus B Y equal to zero Y plus sign because it's moving upward. Um, use a calculator to find that value. It should be force, and this should be force, which is equal to four oh five Newton. 
So we actually solve all of the um, unknowns in the equation. And please remember these rules.